No cars cut them off, no nothing. And all of a sudden, he plows right in into the building. The driver pinned inside until rescuers could free him. He hit the building. He was trapped. The fire department had to extricate him using uh, the jaws of life. He's transported by EMS. In the past, riding a casino bus has sometimes been a gamble, some involved in terrible accidents. 15 killed in this 2011 New York crash, and earlier this year, 30 hurt near Los Angeles when this casino-bound bus collided with an 18-wheeler. Now, the Red Cross is on the scene, and in a statement, the casino bus operator says they are cooperating fully with the authorities in the investigation. George? A lot of questions out there. Thanks, Mara. New developments tonight in that deadly air show crash. The horrifying moment caught on tape when a vintage plane spins out of control right into a crowded highway, shooting a fireball into the sky. Moments later, the wreckage still in flames, at least 11 people killed, and now that death toll expected to go up. ABC's Terry Moran is on the scene. Today at the crash site, a crane gently lifted pieces of wreckage from the roadside. They're still looking for human remains here. From that almost surreal moment at Saturday's air show, the 1950s Hawker Hunter T-7, high in the cloudless sky, performing a thrilling loop above the crowd, then failing to pull up and exploding onto a highway. A terrifying, traumatizing sight. There's nothing we can do except stay where we are. The huge fireball of impact, the plane loaded with fuel. This whole scene is now a memorial. People living flowers and notes of sympathy and prayer. The inferno of the crash just a couple hundred yards back there. And given that this is an area of many villages and local businesses and busy roads, it's a miracle there weren't more victims. I'm ABC 7 Steve Rude. Just want to give you a quick update on a newly issued severe thunderstorm warning right down here. It does include the city of Manassas, also included in the warned area, Prince William County, Stafford County, Southeastern Fauquier County. This is until 7 o'clock as the storm moves off toward the east at around 25 miles per hour. It's capable of producing gusty winds, heavy downpours, and a lot of thunder and lightning. And for the immediate metro closer to D.C., no need to worry about this storm. But once again, severe thunderstorm warning, Manassas, Fauquier counties, we're going to look for this cell to continue to move toward the east around 25 miles per hour. We'll keep you updated throughout the evening right here on ABC 7. Now back to regular programming. In the line of duty. Police say the trooper died today, one day after being shot in the head by a stranded driver. He was trying to help the gunman and he was, he was tackled by bystanders. Flags in Louisiana being flown at half staff to honor the fallen officer. And now to that disturbing case out of New Hampshire where a former student is on trial accused of raping a younger classmate raising questions about the culture inside one of the most elite prep schools in America. Here's ABC's Gio Benitez. Tonight, students and graduates of the elite New Hampshire prep school St. Paul's have taken the stand, testifying that their friend, 19-year-old Owen Labrie, told them he had sex with a 15-year-old schoolmate last year. I had left under the impression that uh, they did have sex in their time, wherever they were. Sex with who? Owen and Jesse. And did he tell you not to tell anyone? Uh, I believe so, yes. In an emotional three days of testimony last week, the alleged victim, now 16, says Labrie raped her. But Labrie denies ever having sex with the girl. His defense attorney challenges her story. Well, why were you cloudy? <laughs> I was raped. The detective remembers going back to the scene with the girl. She started crying. She was unable to talk to me or answer any questions um, beyond pointing out the area that Owen had put a blanket down. The defense is trying to establish reasonable doubt by saying Labrie's messages about sex were just teenage exaggerations. Labrie has pleaded not guilty, and he could end up being the defense's only witness to take the stand, George. I know you'll be watching. Okay, Gio, thanks. We have extraordinary new video tonight taking us inside that brazen prison break the two convicts in upstate New York who broke free earlier this summer. It shows every step of a high-stakes 20-minute journey, squeezing through holes, crawling across catwalks to temporary freedom. ABC's Lindsay Janice has the tape. Tonight, this new video, first obtained by ABC News, revealing how David Sweat and Richard Matt raced from their prison cells to freedom in just 20 minutes. Shot by two investigators, the video shows how the inmates crawled through holes in their cells onto the catwalks behind, then shimmying down four floors to the prison's underground tunnel system. 
In nine minutes, they've made it the length of two cell blocks and are entering the last one. Approaching the first significantly tight squeeze. Minutes later, they're under the prison yard. Underneath the asphalt yard. Connecting with that now infamous steam pipe. We're going to get in this pipe. The investigators squeezing through. From the steam pipe. And three minutes later, they're free, emerging through that manhole onto the street. Their brazen escape kicking off a massive manhunt across this dense terrain. Police killing Matt, capturing Sweat alive just a mile and a half from the Canadian border. Sweat in court just days ago, facing new charges. Lindsay Janice, ABC News, New York. Thanks, Lindsay. Much more ahead on World's, World News tonight this Monday. New developments in the Ashley Madison hacking scandal. Police link it to suicides. Tonight, the reward to hunt down the hackers. Warning about ground beef tonight. The report that may have you cooking that burger a while longer. And special delivery at the zoo. The surprise no one was expecting. We stop arthritis pain so you don't have to stop because you believe in Go. Onward. Today's the day. Carpe Diem. Tylenol 8-hour arthritis pain has two layers of pain relief. The first is fast. The second lasts all day. We give you your day back. What you do with it is up to you. <laughs> Tylenol. It's easy to love your laxative when that lax loves your body back. Only Miralax hydrates, eases, and softens to unblock naturally. So you have peace of mind from start to finish. Love your laxative, Miralax. If I want to go up. Hello. If I want to go down. Hello. But then if I want to come back again, yes. it's perfect. Now that we've added adjustable base, my favorite.